and I don't remember the name of it, so that's not real helpful. It's just strong. It's a strong scent. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foods for you today, and I would say that this was a very kind of peachy week. Like I was liking this kind of eye look. I was liking some peachy cheeks, some peachy glowy cheeks. So yeah, and then kind of ha I have like a random doesn't really fit under that umbrella favorite, but that I really liked this week. And I have another thing that I was gonna kind of give you some feedback on. So lots of things to talk about. So let's get to the thing. First thing that I wanted to kind of give you some feedback on is this palette right here. So I love Sleek Makeup and I've purchased several of their things or quite a few of their things from their website from the UK. And now they're available um, on Ulta's website. Like not all the products, but several products and some palettes that I hadn't seen before. So I grabbed two of them. I actually already returned one because it was like a lot of the same kind of colors on the top row, like just a lot of like creamy light colors. So I wasn't really impressed with that one and I don't remember the name of it, so that's not real helpful. But this one, this is When the Sun Goes Down. So this is one that I don't remember seeing on Sleek's website, their UK website. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it's a different one. I don't know. But I did wear this one day and I didn't dislike it, but I wasn't sure that I liked it as much as the ones I've gotten on their UK website. So I don't really know. I'm just gonna swatch a few of the colors for you. Like these right here are my favorites. And I did an eye look with these and they were really, it was really pretty. Chester's scratching on my chair. Hi, honey. You gonna come visit us? He's just doing a little drive-by chestering, walking through the room. He'll probably be in here for about 30 seconds, and then he'll be on to his next activity. Okay, so here are those colors. So I feel like a lot of them, I mean, these are looking really pretty. So that's what I say, like, I don't really know. I'm still kind of like forming thoughts on this palette. Like I said, the other one I really wasn't impressed with, but this one I think is pretty good. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was just kind of like it felt like, I don't know, more unattainable or something when it was in the UK and now it's kind of like, oh, I don't know if it, I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. So if you've tried theirs from Ulta, like their new stuff that they've brought onto the Ulta website, let me know your thoughts. Cause I just, I can't really decide what I think about this palette. So the, when the sun goes down. So this isn't really necessarily like a favorite, but it was like a, I used it this week and I'm not really sure what I think about it. So super helpful, I'm sure. <laughs> An eyeshadow palette that I was definitely loving this week is this one. This is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I broke it out again this week and that's what I was using for the kind of like peachy eye looks and it's just so pretty. The main colors I was using um, is really just this one, so puree. And then this one, which is Summer Yum. Chester's still in here right now. He's scratching under the closet. Now he's looking at me like, I'm not doing anything, mama. I'm just over here. Oh, now he's rolling around on his back. I wish y'all could see him. He's really, he is working the crowd. Y'all just can't see him. Let me try to take a picture. Okay, I tried to get one. He's so ridiculous. He is just working it today. But these colors are so pretty. Like that one, is amazing and with it like with that one and then a little bit of that like blended into the crease and outer corner so pretty i actually don't have this in my outer corner today but i did wear it one day i've got the purpley shade but this one right here beautiful it's what i got on my lid let me show you the purple one since that's what i'm wearing the purple is delectable and that one's a really beautiful deep purple so yeah, I really do like this palette. I have a whole video on the whole peach collection. I have a tutorial using this palette and some of the other things from the peach collection. And I am intrigued by some of their new stuff that's coming out. So I haven't decided about that, but I really haven't done a lot of research on it to be honest, but I love their other stuff from their peach collection. So yeah, that's what I was using as far as eyes this week. For cheeks this week, I was loving a summery blush. This is Benefits California. This is their newest one adorable packaging it just like makes me feel like it's summertime and like a hippie festival just like i don't know a, a california festival or something like i'm a gal at a california festival that's 
what it feels like to me. And then there's even like um, a really pretty pattern like on the actual blush. The inside is adorable. It's just really cute packaging. It's what I have on my cheeks today. I do have a highlighter with it that I'm about to mention to you. But this is just a beautiful, bright, peachy color. And it's basically like a satin. It's got like a golden sheen to it. It's not super, it's not like shimmery. Now it does have like an overspray when you first get it, but once you get through the overspray, it's really just like a bright peach with kind of like a golden subtle sheen to it. It's really, really pretty, but it just has that like summery vibe to it and I love it. It's just fun. It does have a strong scent to it. So if you are sensitive to scents, I don't know. I don't know how to describe what it is, but it's perfumey and kind of florally and it's just strong. It's a strong scent. So if you are sensitive to strong scents, then just FYI, this has got it. And the highlighter that I've been loving this week is this one. This is Benefit's Dandelion Twinkle. I mean, just look at the beautiful packaging. It's very kind of like metallic-y and beautiful. It's very kind of peachy. Um, it just totally like fits the feeling of the highlighter. Now this one, when I first got it, I really like first application, wasn't sure how I felt about it. Like I didn't instantly love it, but it is one that I have definitely like fallen in love with the more that I've used it because it just has this really beautiful natural sort of a peachy glow to it. And it does have to be built up, but it's, I would say it's versatile. Like it's not like it's not good when you first use it. Um, but I feel like it's better or at least more what I'm going for in a highlighter when I build it up. But I feel like that kind of makes it really nice because it's versatile because if you don't want like intense highlighter one day, you can just apply it more lightly. But if you want a more intense highlighter, you can apply a little bit more. But you can see it's just, it's not intense and metallic. It's more just a like lit from within glow. It's really, really pretty. Um, as far as like shimmer, I really don't see any shimmer in here. If it's got glitter or like micro shimmer, it's really tiny and I really can't see it very well. So yeah, loving that this week, Dandelion Twinkle. And this is the one product that really doesn't fit kind of under the overall umbrella of what I was loving this week, but I really did enjoy this. I grabbed this for a blog post, like when I was wearing kind of like an edgy rockery sort of an outfit, I wanted a deep colored lip. So this is what I grabbed for and I really liked it. This is one of the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvets and this is in number 53 Oxblood and it's just a really deep edgy sort of a color. Now these are an interesting kind of a texture to them. I didn't wear it with a lip liner and I wished I would have because it didn't necessarily bleed but um, I feel like it kind of got a little bit like uneven looking on my lips like around the outside so I think a lip liner really would have helped it with this color specifically. Um, now if you want something that's going to set down and be super matte this is not for you. This is more of a fluffy velvet sort of a lip product so it really doesn't ever set down. It, it will kind of get more of a satin matte sort of a finish to it but never fully matte. Um, and it does, it does transfer and it does move a little bit, but it's really comfortable because of that. So one thing I definitely would have changed when I wore it is wearing a lip liner. I think that would have definitely made it better. But as far as comfort, really nice and comfort, comfortable. I can't talk comfortable. Yes, it was comfortable. And then just dark and rich and intense and edgy looking. So I loved it with that edgy outfit. Rocker vibes, totally went with it. And then lastly, an oldie but a goodie. This was an easy, just grab for it lip product that I used several times this week. I'm wearing it right now. This is good old Revlon's Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey. When I wear this, it just like brings me back to when I first started YouTube. I remember the lip butters were around when I was like, I don't remember if I, I don't think I'd started my channel. I think I started my channel maybe like a few months after the Revlon Lip Butters, but that's when I was like really intensely into watching YouTube. I watched YouTube for a while before I started my channel, but I don't know, something about the Revlon Lip Butters, I think it was like when I was working up the courage to start my channel. So, and this was like shortly thereafter. So it just kind of like 
brings back like the beginning of YouTube memories for me, which are really good memories. So anyway, that's a little side tangent, but I love these. I think they're really nice and comfortable. They stain your lips a little bit, so they're easy. They're in like a crayon, pencil-y sort of a packaging situation, so they're just easy. And this color is like, hello, goes with everything. Everyday lip color, just perfect. Like a neutrally pinky kind of a color. So yeah, wore that several times this week, brought back some good memories and I really liked the lip product. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.